shaking me Every time I touch that track it turns into gold Everybody knows I got the magic in me Hi guys, here we are back again Ooh, We're starting with our first techniques that I want to show you If you want to paint with chalk paint, acrylic, whatever you want to do me According to me, there is quite a couple of ways you can paint, but I only refer back to five at the end of the day. There's only, according to me, five that you need. So we're going to start today, I'm going to show you two. And why I'm doing two today is because, quite honestly, one of them is just painting, where you stick your brush a little bit in the water, you take your paint, and you just, you just paint. Oh, that's interesting. And you just paint. So that is your first one that you, that you do. This brush is a little bit wet. When it comes to painting, I always, always, always go back to say, paint with the color you love. It's irrelevant of what make it is. Whether it's Dixie Belle, Annie Sloan, um, Choco, um, A Shakes, a Cameo, it doesn't matter what paint you paint with, as long as you can get the color you like. So for me, buy the color you love and you will get magic. If you paint big furniture pieces, obviously there is a couple that you can go back to that you can, you know, that you can play more with or you can do more stuff with. I always use Annie Sloan when I do my uh, real antique pieces that I work with. Um, but if I play, the color I like is the color I go with. So for now, I've showed you how you can just paint normally but for me the one that is really really the most magical of all is the one that very few people use every time I teach people in a class this one they absolutely go mad for it and they really play with it so what I do is I get a little tray for me and you choose three colors I normally take a darker color a light color and then the color I want to paint with. You can use black and white, you can use brown, you can use gray, you can use any color you like. Play with it because it is actually such a fun way to do. We're going to be painting this board and as we go along we will be working on the same board the whole time. So I will do the techniques on the board the whole time. Till all the techniques we can do on this board is finished, but it will give you a good idea of what you can do. So what I do is I've got a little foam roller, they're very cheap, and I just start putting the paint on my roller. You will see I actually turn my roller the whole time while it's in there, so I can get paint everywhere. And then I will go and just roll it on my tray so that I've got paint everywhere. And now you can see I've got the brown, I've got the yellow, and I've got that. And what I will do, it's gonna be a little bit difficult with these, but we'll work around it, is I'm just gonna put it down and start painting. And you can immediately see how the magic starts happening. If you feel it's a little bit too brown, go more to your white side and take just less brown on your brush and you can paint again. I've put some masking tape over here so it doesn't doesn't make them dirty but I see I didn't put big eye enough up so I will just fix that a, a little bit later. You don't have to go all the way to the edges because we will do other techniques on it. It will eventually cover that. But try to keep your roller going all the way. And you will start seeing that you get that magic. I like to get a little bit more yellow and a little bit more white in it. So if you do not like or you want to carry on with it, go back to your roller and just put a little bit, little bit more on. This works very well for us. It's 
So, yes, I'm just going to ask one of the crew here behind the scene to give me another piece of wood, um, any piece of wood, and I'm going to show you with another colour how this looks, because if you've got another colour, you can actually see a little bit better how you pick up the colours on this. So I'm going to use a darker yellow. I'm going to use a red or burgundy in this case and I always go back to my white so remember what I said to you earlier I use a bit of a darker color a white and then the color I want to use in there so you're gonna see I'm gonna get I'm gonna do the same thing but the effect that I will get will show better with the, with the darker paint And you can see I go all the way through to the top with it. And then I will start this side again. Work absolutely magical doing it this way. Quick way of painting. You can paint furniture this way. Um, you can play with it like we're going to do on these. If you want to make it a little bit more blend, that it doesn't stand out that much, we just keep going over it and it will blend it, blend it quite, quite nicely. And there is the two different ones that we've made for you to see in our first tutorial on our YouTube thing. If you want to join us or you want to share it, Mariette Bierkes, Just Magic Twist. It is on I don't know if it's Mariette Birkes, I think it's just, it is Mariette Birkes, Just Magic Twist on YouTube. Subscribe and you will see all our videos that we have uploaded that we're going to teach you how to paint the magical way, like I do it.